bit of vodka, a little bit of whiskey, a little bit of info, a little bit tipsy. Liquor sippers, we liquor sippers. We sip and sip and, we sip and sip and, we sip and sip and, we sip and sip and. Hold up. What's up, everyone? My name is Brenner. Welcome to Liquor Sippers. And today we're gonna be taste testing and doing a review over a mystery whiskey from the Mystery Whiskey Box. We're gonna find out if this popular whiskey is in fact as good as they say, and is it really worth your hard earned money? Let's check it out. All right, everyone, here is the big reveal for this week. One of the more popular whiskeys, I think that everyone at some point or another has either seen in a movie or possibly seen like on a TV show or, or an ad or whatever, but the whiskey of this week for taste testing and the review is going to be Maker's Mark Cask Strength. All right, so um, this whiskey is actually from Kentucky, much like many other whiskeys, okay? Uh, but Maker's Mark is a little bit different. Um, they don't have various other types of whiskeys like other whiskey or, or um, distilleries, how they produce uh, rye and all these um, different wheats and stuff like that or, or barrel proof this one specifically makers mark they have two different kinds that they produce they have makers mark and then they have makers 46 there is a differentiation um but this is kind of their quote unquote their um flagship this is their flagship all right everything that we do on this channel um predominantly i've never tasted before okay so uh, i've never tasted makers mark i don't know what it's actually like uh, I've had this bottle for a little bit waiting to do this taste testing. It's a little secret so you guys may know. If you don't, if you guys are trying to figure out, well, what am I going to do the taste testing of next? Um, sometimes I may just display it up here to see if anyone's actually paying attention uh, on the channel. And maybe you guys can take a little guess and see what I'm going to do next. Um, also, when you leave a comment, there's a lot of people that are leaving comments about different stuff in there. Maybe that might give you an idea as to what I may be uh, taste testing as well. Um, so Maker's Mark, this one specifically uh, is a 110.4 proof. Um, and uh, so these Maker's Mark cask strength, um, they vary between 108 to 114, I believe, for the proof. Now this alcohol volume is 55.2%, which obviously if it goes, if the proof goes up, the alcohol percentage is gonna go up slightly. And um, I think it goes up to like 56% as, as far as I know. Um, so this is a true through and through first taste testing. Never had this before. Um, and like I said, that's basically what we're gonna be doing on this channel all the time. Um, so let's go ahead and get this thing started and get it kicked off. I'm gonna crack this bottle open and see where we go. So straight off the top, this is a little bit harder to get off here. Um, this is not a, this is not a normal, normally they have like a, a cork or something on top. So that's a little interesting to me. Um, there is no cork, it's not a pop top. It actually unscrews. Um, there is a big differentiation because this bottle is square, whereas most whiskey bottles, they're more rounded or cylinder type, like the ones that I have up here, like you have your Mitchers or, or your Old Scout. Um, so this is definitely an identifiable bottle, especially with this wax that they have coming down to help seal the bottle. All right. So let's go ahead, twist. I'm so not used to that. It's so weird to twist off like that. And let's do a little bit of a, oh, listen to that. All right, let's take a little swig here. Let's see how this goes down. Uh, we're gonna do the sniff test first. Little sniff, sniff. Little sniff, sniff, snifferoo. All right, so uh, just by looking at it, it has kind of a caramel type look to it. Um, it definitely, whew, definitely has a spice. All right, it definitely has a spicy, vibe to it uh definitely obviously there's bourbon that bourbon smell that you smell um it's a, a little bit caramel some darker fruit maybe um it definitely definitely smells pretty strong not uh not like the last uh the last whiskey that we tasted um maybe some cinnamon Nutmeg. I 
I don't know, maybe some, I feel like it's kind of dry. It smells kind of dry, like there's gonna be some peanut butter or something in it. All right, um, well, so let's move on to the palette. So we went from the nasal smells to Oh, wow. Okay, that's a little bit. All right, so this is this is definitely weird for me. So for all the newbies out there, such as myself, I'm a newbie, you know, I'm, I'm learning this stuff. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of has a good strong kick uh, on the beginning of it. It's very, very spicy in the beginning. Um, almost has like a hint of molasses in it and definitely um, slightly leaves a drier taste in your mouth whenever you're on the back end of this that being said even though it is kind of harsh it is super smooth and I'd say that the spice is heavy on the top in the middle you get a little bit of that sweeter taste vibe so you get a little bit of a hint of that molasses kind of like caramel type taste it's a little bit sweeter and then once it hits the back of the throat it definitely goes down pretty smooth i i wouldn't wouldn't say this is my overall 100 percent favorite type whiskey all right um but whiskey is one of those things where it's a, an acquired taste and it's something that has to kind of grow on you. So I can't sit here and tell you that my opinion is the uh, epitome of all opinions and that it, it's going to be the best whiskey you ever have or it's going to be the worst. I wouldn't say that this is a go-to. Oh! Now that's, that right there is the type of whiskey that that'll make you change your whole damn personality. I wouldn't say it's anything like uh, last week where we tasted yellow rose and yellow rose was super sweet. It was super, it was super full and um, it, it just had all different kinds of flavors in it and it went down so well. Uh, this one is probably for a more sophisticated or uh, mature palate. Someone that has been in the game for a little while. Um, if someone, I, I would say if someone came directly jumping into this particular Maker's Mark Cast Strength Whiskey initially right off the bat, I would not say that this is something I would start with because it may stir you the wrong direction or turn you the wrong direction. Um, that's kind of what happened to me. I got away from whiskey because some of the stuff I drank was too harsh um, and it took me a little bit to find my flavor. All right, now this is the kind of stuff that'll make your scalp peel backwards. Wow, that's real spicy on the back end. It burns going down. It might burn coming right back up again. It might burn coming out the other end. But man, this stuff right here is real tasty. Real spicy, a little bit sweet on the top end. I can't guarantee you this will be a bottle that I always go to. But I can guarantee you this will be a bottle that I sometimes go to. Eh? Eh? All right. We all keep sipping. Welcome to the Liquor Sippers. And uh, I'll see you next time. When my throat's no longer burning. If you guys have any other stuff that you guys want me to review, want me to taste test, uh, please let me know in the comments. Somebody mentioned 10 cup. I, actually, I think a couple people mentioned 10 cup. Um, I've seen it, I haven't I haven't purchased it. So once again, everything I bring on this channel is gonna be a brand new bottle, something that I've never tasted before. So these are all pure 100% 100% real, brand new views, brand new tastes. Um, that's why I'm having you guys, as far as the newbies, there may be some uh, other mature gentlemen out there that have been already drinking this. And by mature, I mean you've been drinking whiskey for a few years now and I, this is year one for me so um so, so i'm adopting this this whiskey lifestyle but uh it's definitely fun and it i think it's something that kind of becomes it's kind of like a coffee you know like you always want something a little bit stronger a little bit stronger because your body or your taste buds get a little bit more used to what you've been drinking in the past and you want something different something with a different type of flavor and as your sophistication grows and your knowledge as we all grow together as a community being liquor sippers here i feel like the more we sip the more aware we're going to become of, of what these specific tastes are and we're just going to end up liking it a little bit better. I don't condone alcoholism by any means, but what I do like is the sophistication, the, the classiness that goes along uh, with drinking the whiskey. 
and um, just understanding what's inside the whiskey and what goes into it. One quick fact about this particular whiskey for Maker's Mark, they age the majority of these cast strengths um, up to six years and before they actually uh, start selling these. So other than that guys, our channel is growing super fast. Um, I think at the time of me doing this video, I have like 79 subscribers, which is awesome. Um, I appreciate all your guys' support. Please continue to support. If you haven't already and you feel like you got something from this video or you guys want to see something special or something specific, please hit that thumbs up or that like button. Subscribe, tell your friends, share, and we can all drink, sip together. Cheers.